All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, Wahabrakha Kodash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rakha Kodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers out there. And I um, just want to get into a quick lesson that's based on, you know, keeping your eye single. You know, pretty much, you know, staying focused, keeping your eye on the prize. All right. Which, you know, what is that prize? That's something that we got to ask ourselves and we have to always keep this in mind all right okay the prize is us getting salvation you know first and foremost and then the salvation leads to what the transformation and that leads to the glorification all right which that leads to the you know the perfection and ultimately ultimately we get what the you know dominion power the rulership you see and with that being said you know there's nothing in this world that should be distracting you you know from the things at hand okay you know i don't care if it's your family your job your ego okay uh, um your health Whatever it is, it, it, it shouldn't, you know, stop you, okay, you know, uh, from putting in that work. You know, let me get this scripture real quick. This is uh, the book of Revelation. And this is an impromptu, by the way. Um, this is uh, Revelation. Well, maybe it's the third chapter. Excuse me. I think it's yeah, the third chapter. This is uh, Revelation chapter 3, and I'll start at uh, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Okay, you see, nothing in this world should take your uh, crown. All right? And I just named, uh, you know, a few things. All right, I'll say this first and foremost, and the biggest thing. You know, I'll say this, the, the, the biggest obstacle in this truth is really yourself, okay? Because you as an individual, you have to really want this. You know, no one can, you know, uh, uh, you know, force you into doing, you know, videos, going to classes, going to camp, all right, reading your scriptures. No, no one can force you to do these things. You have to sincerely... You know, want these things. You know, you you, you want to, you know, read. You you want to go to camp. You you want to go to class. All right. You want to get more breakdowns. You want to have more discernment. You want to get better at the Hebrew, so on and so forth. You know. You have to, you know, want it, and you you have to work for it. Okay. And I'll let me get this real quick. And. You know, another brother, they're not going to get you saved. You know, you have to have that personal relationship with Yahweh Bashim Shai. You see? You know, it's up to you to open up that door. Because the scriptures say, um, I think Yahweh Shai said this in, uh, I believe it's the Gospels. I forget exactly where it's at. You know, if I'm uh, wrong, excuse me. Um, it could be in Revelation too. It says, you know, I, I come, I think it's actually in Revelation, but uh, Yahweh Shai said this, you know, uh, I, I come, you know, knocking at the door, right? You know, hey, Yahweh Shai is knocking at that door. You're the one who has to open it. You see? Okay. Well, let me get this. This is uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. 
And you see, you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Look, we're all going to get judged based according to our works. Okay? My works aren't going to save you. Your works aren't going to save me. The apostles' works aren't going to save us. Our works aren't going to save the apostles. All right? So on and so forth. You know? Hey, it's your faith and your works that's going to get you out of here. Okay? And of course, uh, uh, if you're predestinated by Yahweh Bashim, I'll shy. All right? You see? But let me get this. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. You see, we're all going to get judged on our works. Whether they be righteous works or wicked works, we will be judged. Okay? But we're hoping that our righteous works, you know, outweigh, you know, the wicked works that we've done in this, you know, life, in our past lives. You see? We're really hoping and praying that the Lord focuses on, the, you know, the, 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 the righteous things that we've done, you know, rather than the evils. Okay? The point being, though, is, hey, we're going to get judged on our works. Like I said, I can't, you know, save you. You can't save me. And with that all being said, you know, yeah, a brother can help you out. You know, they, of course, you know, rebuke or, repro or reprove you if you're, you know, you know, not focused. You know, they can, you know, give you some uh, counsel. They can help you out in the jam. All right. But at the end of the day, it's, it's up to you. Whether hey, you be in the presence of the Akim or by yourself. And I'll say this, it really counts when you're by yourself. You know, and that's something that you have to, um, that you have to think about. How was your conduct? Was it on point? You know, at work? Did you talk to your parents properly? You know? Hey, did, hey, did, did, you know, did you, did you get your, you know, reading in? Did you make your videos for the week? You know, they, they, that's all up to you. See what I'm saying? All right. That's all up to you. And you can't let, you know, the things of this world distract you. Now, you're going to have, you know, um, times where, you know, that, uh, that, that basically, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, for lack of words, that, you know, that monkey wrench comes into the situation. All right. Where things come out of, you know, left field, so to speak. Okay. But regardless, hey, you still got to stay focused. Yeah, these things are going to pop up. It's going to, you know, throw off your day. Maybe throw off a week. Hey, it could actually throw off a month or two. But you still got to stay focused, though, regardless. That, 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 that doesn't negate the fact that, hey, you still got work to do. You know what I'm saying? All right? See, individuals will, you know, will let these things uh, 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 make them, you know, fall out. All right, which, you know, ultimately, as I said earlier, you know, you, you got to be predestinated. But, you know, I'm just using that loosely. You know, guys, you know, have situations at their house or right, maybe they got kicked out of their house maybe um you know the woman left with the you know with the kids you know maybe uh, your health started going maybe you lost your job or business and now you you know you, you don't have money like that maybe you you have to you know uh help out you know your your parents because maybe they're ill you know you know there's all these things that can occur in your life and certain guys just let those things, um, let, let those things consume them. Now that becomes, you know, uh, their focus. Okay. And it shouldn't be like that. Now, of course, you handle business as a man, but your main focus is doing what? Teaching th this word. Okay. You know, you, like I said, going to the classes, you, you go into uh, the camps. You know, you, 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 you reading. So on and so forth. You can still do these things. No matter what situation you're in. You can still do these things. Alright. So let me get this.
people got demons on them. I'm literally trying to get away from these people for like 10, 15 minutes. This is uh, Luke chapter 11, verse 33. No man, when he had lighted, lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. And you see, these people should see your light. Okay? They should see your light. Hey, that, hey this, this man is different. You know, his whole, you know, uh, uh, you know, his whole conduct is different. You know, the way he thinks, the way he acts. Okay? His, his works, his deeds. You know? They, they should really, you know, know, know that they, this man is not the same as the rest of these people out here. Okay? Should really be like that. You know, they, they, the scriptures talk about what? They, the world would love its own? The world really shouldn't love you. But I'll say this. Hey, they, they're going to respect you though. Because that's one thing about this truth. Even though these people, you know, they, they may hate you for righteousness, right? But deep down inside, they, they still respect what you're doing because this is an upright thing. This is this is a, a not of man. And no one can deny that. You see? They may disagree with particular things, you know, that we may, you know, say, you know, our, our views on, on things. But at the, you know, when it comes down to it, hey, we're, we're uh, uh, you know, uh, upright men. You know, we deal, you know, uh, with equity. You know, you see what I'm saying? So, hey, these people should know that there's something different about you. The scriptures say what? You know, a wisdom, a, a, a wisdom maketh a man's face to shine. It changes his countenance. See? All right, hey, you shouldn't be, you know, you know, caught up and mixed, you know, mixed with this world like that. Of course, hey, you have your dealings. You know, yeah, you, you know, you, you know, you may be on, you know, at the job. You gotta deal with coworkers. You know, maybe you might um, know some people in the world that can help you out with a thing or two. So you know, you may, you know, uh, talk to them for a little bit. You know, might work on your car together or something. Work on their car. You know what I mean? You know, it, it, whatever your situation is, hey, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, you're not. You know, um, you know, mixed up with these people like that. You see? Well, let me keep reading. This is Luke 11 and 34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body is also full of light. But when thy eye is evil, the body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doeth give thee light. So you got to keep your eyes single. You know, you, you, you can't be entangled with the affairs of this world. All right, which I'll get in a moment. Okay? Hey, you, 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 hey the scriptures say, what? Love not the world, neither the things that are uh, in it. That's First John 2 and 15. You know? Look, who, who cares about, you know, that woman? You know what I'm saying? Who cares about uh, your parents? What I, I'll say this real quick, just, you know, for clarification's sake. I'm not saying that, hey, you, you can't, you know, um, hey, love your, you know, your woman, your, you know, your parents. All right? But don't, don't let them uh, uh, distract you and don't let them, you know, bring you down. Okay? Don't, don't let them... Uh, uh, um, don't let them be your stumbling block, you see? Who cares about your business? Who cares about that job? Who cares about that house? Who cares about your ego? Whatever it is, who cares? Stop being slothful. You know? Stop being so damn, uh, 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 con uh what's the word I'm looking for? Content. See what I mean? Jay, Jay, Jay's got to snap out of it. Look, this world's about to be destroyed. 
We're really at the end of this thing. We're in World War III. Chip activities are, are you know, increasing. They got all this uh, 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 legislation, you know, getting get, get pushed on stopping this word. Basically, you know, it's going to be, you know, that draconian law is coming. Okay? Well, they're going to start locking things down. Esau's really, you know, about to, you know, come down with that wrath. So who cares about, you know, what, you know, the, the, you know the, the things of this world, man? Who cares about it? Hey, you, you should be looking to, to, you know, past this place. All right, the future, which is uh, what? The kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the kingdom of righteousness. See, that's what you should be focused on. Not this place. This place has nothing to offer. And even if you get a little something in this place, it's one, it's all, it's all tainted, okay? And then two, this stuff is going to uh, uh, fade away very soon. Whatever you, you get, whatever it is, don't be attached to it. You see? Let's get this real quick. What is that, uh, that Timothy, 2 Timothy 2 and, you know, I'll start at three main points in four, though. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So you got to endure. Hey, deal with the sufferings. Deal with the afflictions. Okay? And I'll say this. The Lord ain't going to always, you know, beat you up, so to speak. You know what I mean? There's times where the Lord, hey, hey he gives you that break. Or you can, you know, uh, breathe for a second. You know? Yeah, then, you know, yeah, you, you, deal, you, you deal with these, uh, 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 you know, these trials, these tribulations. Yeah, but you just got to keep fighting through it. Because I'll say this, even if you weren't in this truth, you would still be going through, you know, some type of hell. Okay? You would still be going through stuff. Look at these people who are, um, who so-called, you know, have made it. You know, they still get divorces. They still deal with illness. They still deal with legal problems. Okay? So on and so forth. You might as well suffer for righteous, uh, uh, you know, for, for righteousness sake. That's in the second edge of the seventh chapter. See, you, 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 got, you got that hope. You got that understanding. Okay? So yeah, you, you, you should be good. See, there are people who are in this world. They still suffer, but they don't, uh, they don't have the hope. They don't have the, the wisdom, knowledge, or understanding. And that's why they, they, uh, they um, you know, they, they start losing it. All right? They start losing it. Let me keep reading. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 now. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. You see, you can't entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. Because it's not profitable if, at the end of the day. If, it, if this world cons consumes you too much, you will fall. And I'll say this. There's times where you're going to feel really uncomfortable. You're going to have to make decisions... That, 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 that's going to hurt you, okay? That's going to make you, you know, uh, sad. But at the end of the day, it's for, a, uh, you, you know, you're in betterment, okay? And Jake got to, you know, got to have it in their mind. You're at war right now, you know? And war isn't, you know, a, a smooth... You know, a, a process. War is rough. You know, we, we, you know in, in war, you know, in warfare, hey, you, you, you lose, man. Hey, you lose buddies. All right? You lose your family. You know, hey, hey, not all soldiers come back whole, so to speak. Scriptures even talk about that, how you got to pluck... Pluck out your eye, you know? And that's, you know, uh, 
metaphorically speaking, that's not literal. You know, you, you're going to have to, you know, get things out of your life. And, and like I said, it might be things that you actually, you know, love and enjoy. But if, if, if it's making you fall, it's got to go. It's got to go, man. All right. Let me read that again. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. And your main goal is to please Yahweh Shimei Shai. You got to remember the first law. And let me get that. In the entire uh, um, the first law that, that's in the uh, that's in a uh, um, you know, it, you know, when, when we got out of Egypt was what? This is uh, uh this is what the Lord told Moses. This is Exodus 21. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And you see, if you put anything in front of Yahweh, Shemel, and Shai, that would be considered your God. Okay? And you can't do that. Yahweh, Shemel, and Shai comes first, and everything revolves around it. And I'll say this through experience. If you put hey, the Lord first, hey, the things around you, okay, might be able to stay. I'm not saying everything, but there's certain things that, that, that you may, you know, really love. And the Lord will, you know, allow you to keep those things. Okay? It could be a, a your children, could be your wife, you know, it could be your parents, whatever. I, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but at the same time, hey, you got to have it in your mind that the Lord can strip it from you also at any moment. So don't get too attached. All right? But, I, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there. Because, uh, you know, I'll just say this real quick. Because, you know, the scriptures say, you know, with your, you know, th through your faith and your works, you can save yourself and your house. All right? Because I like to, you know, um, I like to, you know, make sure brothers know. That not everybody you know is just going to get destroyed. All right? Because I know hey, we push that a lot. That people are, <laughs> a lot of people are going to, you know, going to perish in this world. Which that is a true statement. But look, the one third is also a very, 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 very big number too. All right? You know, I, I had to make sure that Jake, you know, hears that. Because, you know, we talk about the two thirds so much. And, you know, you, you just think about how, it, it, you know, it um, overshadows the one-third, but hey, the one-third is still a big uh, number. And hey, what does it say in Revelation? It, it, it talks about 144,000 and the what? Innumerable multitude? Meaning there was a lot. A lot of Israelites being saved. Okay? You see? So, they, you know, they, that's just, you know, because uh, uh, the scriptures say what? You know, uh, uh, basically speak these words to one to another to comfort each other. That's in the book of Thessalonians. You know, I just want to throw that out there, you know, to comfort, you know, those who who, who, who start thinking about that. Well, what about my, you know, my parents? What about, you know, my children? What about my wives? You know? Don't worry about it. The yeah, Lord can save them. Yeah, he may not, though. You know, he still got to throw that out there. But, hey, look, man, have some, I'll say this. Have some damn faith, too, man. All right? Have some faith. You see? Well, let me keep reading. This is Exodus 20 and, and uh, 4 now. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And it says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the father, fathers upon the children unto the fourth third and fourth generation of them that hate me okay but you know let me read this part too and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments you see even though the lord does judge for not you know serving him properly you know the lord will judge you but remember the lord is all about mercy too it's a balance Lord's about mercy. He's got compassion. He's got pity on us. 
Okay? You got to remember these things too. It's not always about gloom and doom. Because hey, hey, as destruction is happening to the wicked, there's going to be righteous, or I'm sorry, there's going to be salvation for the righteous. You see? Got to keep these things in mind. All right? The point being, though, is why I read that is, hey, hey, you, you know, brothers and sisters, hey, look, Yahweh Al Shai comes first. Nothing in this world goes you know, ahead of, uh, of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? They, they're not skipping the line. See? And don't let, I'll say this, don't let these afflictions, okay, that also, you know, uh, uh, occur, you know, take you out of this truth, you know, because I've seen, you know, men come into this truth and, and, you know, they'll be in it for, you know, a decent amount of time, several years, a decade. And, you know, since the Lord didn't come back on their time, they basically just give up. They throw in the towel. A lot of times, they guys just don't want to deal with like, the hardships of this thing. And to me, it's, you know, my opinion, yeah, it's rough, but to me, being clueless in this world is, and have no guide, that's, that's, that's worse. And really, you know, I'll say this too. A lot of times, you know, what it really comes down to, a lot, a lot of these guys are just soft. A lot of these men, they grew up, you know, in, in these single, you know, mother households. They're around, you know, women all day, whether it be, their, you know, their moms, sisters, aunts, grandmas. And they got a very effeminate spirit on them now. You know, men are, men are supposed to be rough. All right? Men are supposed to be able to, you know, uh, take some shots, so to speak. And you, you, you know, once you come into this truth, you, you got to be able to take some shots from the Lord. Okay? And then also, not only just take these shots, you know, uh, um, you know, learn from the trials and tribulations. You know, well, why did the Lord make me go through X, Y, Z things? And meditate on it And I'll say this It might not come to you You know That first night You may have to think about it For a little bit of time For a week or two You know Maybe a month You know You gotta ask the Lord To open up your mind And you know In due process Hey the Lord will Reveal what he was trying to show you You see The point being though Is hey Just Just stay focused though you know, stay focused. That, that's the main uh, goal right now. All right? It was just something that was just on my mind. You know, this was just a little impromptu. Didn't really have any scriptures, you know, you know, particular minus uh, uh, that loop that I brought out about keeping your eyes single. All right? But um, hopefully, you know, whoever was, edif uh, whoever was listening was edified by this lesson. And... Um, and I'm going to end it out. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bless Shem Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.